Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. So I want to do a quick video in response to a video I did that got a few comments, definitely got some interesting engagements on there, in which this is the video on frame, and this is on maintaining frame, I believe, uh, keeping the dominant frame. You can check that out there. And there's some interesting comments here. One of them I thought was really interesting that I wanted to point out and what my response was, which some of you are not going to like, it's fine. And some of you are gonna say, oh, that's bullshit. But uh, let's, let's, let's dissect this a little bit before we, we go into, into that realm. So I think Danilo, Danilo said, John, what about after he had said, you can watch the video, but he said, nice shirt, dipshit. Other people heard and started to acknowledge him by laughing. In this case, ignoring is harder, isn't it? So in that video, I talked about uh, one of the ways to keep a dominant frame when you have the frame, which in this case, actually, you don't have the frame. If someone says, nice shirt, dipshit, and a bunch of other people start laughing, right, with this ring later, you don't have the frame. You didn't have the frame in the first place, but you can still establish the frame, and I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show you how I shared this in the, in the comment, but I thought this was worth repeating here. So in that case, what's going on, okay? So you've come into some situation, some alpha jackass dipshit says that you're, it says nice shirt dipshit to you, and, and how do you, and then everyone else starts laughing, okay? His, his cohort, bunch of girls, whatever, they start laughing, they're essentially laughing at his joke, they're basically laughing at you. What do you do in that situation? Well, now, he's clearly in that situation gain frame, right? Because other people, remember what I, what I talked about, you can check out all the frame videos if you haven't seen that already, but clearly other people have bought into his frame. If they're laughing at what he said, right? It might not even be funny, it's probably not even funny, that's not even a really funny joke, but you've seen this before, right? Everyone's laughing along because he is controlling and dominating the frame. His reality, remember what I said about frame control, it's about, it's about your worldview and your reality reality becoming the dominant one. In any interaction with people, in any conversation, there's always gonna be a dominant frame. There's always gonna be one person who is essentially setting the reality for the group. In this case, it's, it's pretty clear, right? And so what's gonna be really difficult in this situation is to break that frame. Why? Because the more people reinforcing the frame, the, the more difficult it is for you to break that frame. So just ignoring this person at this point would not break the frame. In fact, you're gonna have a very weak frame. His frame of you being a pussy is going to be dominant and you're pretty much screwed unless you take some drastic action. And so the, I'm, I'm sending this up because it's going to require some kind of drastic action. Ignoring does not work in this case because ignore, ignoring it would be to reject his reality, but there's other people conforming, confirming his reality. So what do you do in this case? So I gave a couple of scenarios, okay? Now the first one is probably not the best one, but it is a way, right? I'm, I'm, I'm giving you this one first, which is you could just go up and pop him in the fucking face, all right? If you did that, casually just go up and just slug him one, you will now have the frame. You might go to jail, you might get in a fight, it probably isn't gonna end well. I'm not gonna recommend that you do this, caveat here, okay? So, but I want you to understand that that is, he's put you in a tough spot, and that's one way to respond if you really care about getting that frame back. Now, I probably wouldn't respond that way myself, but I'll tell you what, how I would respond, okay? Or one way that I would respond, it depends on the situation, but here's what I had suggested here. So I said, okay, instead of, you know, he, he laughs, he has his joke, whatever, as soon as he says that and, and everyone's laughing, you just walk up to him casually, right? Hopefully I don't go out of focus here. And you go up to him, just kind of chill, getting right kind of up in his face, just like you're, you're about to you know, slap him one, and you unbutton his top button. And then you say, I like you better like that. Then you, then you back up, or you, you, know, you stay there for a little bit, and you don't say anything, and then you say, I like you better like that. Now, <laughs> you've just taken his frame and you've shattered it to pieces, okay? At this point, he's got two options, okay? He can escalate or he can go along with your frame. Now, he may fucking punch you in the face. That may happen, all right? But if he does that, he's going to look like a big douchebag. He's gonna look like he's responding from an emotional reaction that he can't take a little bit of teasing, right? That he can dish it, but he can't take it. Then he's gonna look like he's responding. And if he responds to you, he's falling into your frame. 
frame, right? So he's got a couple of choices there, right? He's either going to yield the frame to you, essentially laugh it off, play it off, whatever, or just try to ignore it, okay? Or he's gonna have to escalate to something higher than what you did. And you probably escalated it about as high as you can without violence taking place. Now, again, I'm not condoning violence, okay? I'm not saying that violence is the answer, but it may be. I'm not ruling it out either. And if you're going to pull this off, and I will tell you, this kind of move will take some fucking balls. It is gonna take balls. I'm not gonna bullshit you here. If you do that, you better be ready to be slugged in the face. You better be ready to get in a fight. But I'm just telling you, when the stakes are raised that high, that's the, the kind of options that you have. There's not really many other options besides walking away, besides saying, well, fuck it, I'm not getting involved in this situation. But if you're gonna go in there and you're going to try and recapture the frame or dominate the frame, you're gonna to have to be able to take it up to that level. And not only that, if you're gonna pull something like this off, and in general, if you're gonna pull something like this off, you gotta be the guy that has nothing to lose. You gotta be totally willing to get popped in the face. You gotta to be totally willing to go to the ground with this and, and to, you know, to, to escalate to violence if that's necessary. If you don't have that, if you don't have that backbone, if you don't have those balls, totally fine, totally cool. I'm not saying you have to. I'm just saying in this situation. So. I wanted to make this video and to talk about that a little bit just because sometimes it's, I think in the other video too, I was a little bit more in the abstract. I didn't quite have a very good example and this this gave a, a perfectly good example. Now, in most cases, that's not gonna be the case, right? And, and if you think about it, in that case, you're probably in a kind of a bullying situation already, right? If you think about it, if you would come into a group of people and one person would say to you, hey, nice shirt, dipshit, and everyone else would start laughing, you're probably in that bully type of situation, right? It, it's Something's happened ahead of time. It's not a normal situation. You don't just walk into a crowd of people or to a group of people and that happens. Maybe it's a group of your friends and you're the runt, the black sheep of the litter, and they like to make fun of you and, and whatnot, in which case <laughs> doing something like this, responding this way, may help you to climb the pecking order a little bit and establish yourself. I mean, you're probably gonna get challenged if you, if you do that, especially if you've shown a history of being a pain and, and basically backing down to anyone's challenges and letting people make fun of you and, and treat you that way. But you know what? You gotta take a stand at some point in your life. So I'm not recommending, I'm not condoning violence. I know some of you are gonna jump all over the place and be like, oh, fuck, John, what, what are you saying? You're saying that you should just like settle things with violence? No, I, I, I'm not gonna say it's a last resort because that's, that's kind of bullshit as well, right? But I am gonna say that just know, calculate in your head the possible consequences of your actions. If you're willing to accept the consequences of your actions, right, depending on how certain things are important to you or how your image or how you portray yourself or how you view yourself is of a certain level of importance to you, then you're willing to accept certain consequences which may be dire and they may be lethal, right? These are all possibilities here. So before you go and say, I'm gonna go and fucking do this, you just need to understand what I'm telling you that probably not going to end well, especially if you don't have the balls to pull it off. But I will tell you this one last thing, and then we'll wrap this up, which is if you do have the balls to pull this off, it's gonna be really difficult. It's gonna, you're gonna come across very, very strong, and most bullies, okay, not all, but most bullies will back down to that kind of strength because they don't want an, a challenge. They don't want someone who's going to fight back or possibly smack them in the face or pop them in the nose, right? They wanna pick on the person who's easy to pick on. So when you do something like this and you do it in a way that is truly fearless and truly reckless and truly fuck the consequences, it sends a very, very strong and clear message. If you can't send that message, you probably, if you can't send the message clearly and strongly, you should probably not deliver the message because it will fall flat and you will be in big trouble, okay? But if you can, and you really believe that you can, and you're really willing to take it to that level, you're probably gonna have a high level of success with an approach like that. So there you have it. That, uh, <laughs> that's, uh, it's interesting. It's an interesting situation, I, I think. Not one that you're likely to face very often, but maybe, you know, again, this is an extreme one. 
but maybe there's variations of this and maybe it doesn't require as high of a level of escalation as this, but you, you certainly will find situations where someone will have a dominant frame and they will have cohorts around them that will reinforce their frame. And when that happens, you're gonna to have to respond extremely strongly or you're gonna to have to exit the situation or you're just gonna to have to be the puts for, for a while. Like you, you have to make one of those three choices and so don't, don't try to play some medium ground, don't try to ignore in, in a situation like that. Ignoring bullies, for example, I mean this is, again, where I suppose we're divulging into a bully situation here, but ignoring bullies is not a smart move. It's n it never solves a problem. You can't break a bully's frame by ignoring that person because they know that they're affecting you. They know that they're eliciting a response. They're eliciting now a submissive response from you and because they have other people around them. And you notice that when people bully like this in, in these situations, it's, it's never in singular, right? They're never just a one-on-one -on -one situation with you, or very, very rarely. Normally they have a bunch of people that they're impressing that, that also are reinforcing their frame, which is giving them the strength to be able to do that. Without the people reinforcing their frame, they, they wouldn't have the ability to do that or the confidence to do that. But because they have these cohorts, because they know what the reaction is gonna be, and they're counting on your submissive reaction to it, they're able to do it. All right, that's all I got for you tonight. If you like this video, if you haven't subscribed already, click that subscribe button. And if you want to make sure you don't miss a video, click the bell. I'll talk to you next time.